<clears throat> looking at page Q, Q for questions, right? On page eight, and then actually the next one is on page nine, that's a challenge problem. But let's uh, take a look here. We're using a new formula, PV equals NRT. This is called the ideal gas law. And uh, in the book, they, in the pace, they kind of lay out how they come up with this. You don't need to know that necessarily. You do need to know the formula, and you need to know how to plug in numbers. Sometimes we have to convert things to get them in the proper units. And we have to memorize this one number. This is called a constant. And that number is constantly the same. So really that kind of narrows it down. You know that P is pressure, V is volume, T is temperature, and obviously it's in Kelvin, so that's not new. The only thing new here is N. N is the number of moles. Now I put the units here just as a reminder that when we solve this problem, we do have to get everything in the proper units first. So pressure has to be in atmospheres, volume has to be in liters, and then the temperature, of course, has to be in Kelvin. So I'm looking here at problem number eight. It says the chemical reaction produced 0.75 moles of chlorine gas at 25 degrees Celsius and 750 Tor. What is the volume of the gas produced? So, if we do 750 Tor, and this volume is what we don't know, okay, and it gives us the moles, 0 0.75 moles. 25 degrees Celsius, so 25, and we add 273. So would that be 298 Kelvin, right? That's easy. Now we have to convert this into atmospheres, okay? And 760 Tor is one atmosphere. All right, so when you multiply that out, um, you will get a decimal number. Go ahead and carry that out to three decimal places. Everything else now looks like is in the proper units. So to solve for this problem, since we're solving for V, is we'll divide by P, okay? So over here, you'll take this times this times this, and then divide by the pressure. So the answer you get for that, I'll let you finish this on your own, okay? And now that we have all of these numbers, and really that, that shouldn't be too bad to solve, okay? So let me erase these, and then let's take a quick peek at setting up the challenge problem, all right? I'm leaving this the same because that is a constant, so that does not change. All right, I'm looking at number nine. Here's a challenge, an unknown gas with a mass of 11.3 grams. Okay, so that's not on our chart here, so let's put it over here. 11.003, okay. Has a volume of 6.36, zero liters, all right, so good, we're in liters. Pressure of 760 Tor, so we'll plug that in. And we need it in atmospheres, but thankfully, 760 Tor is one atmosphere, so that's what we're gonna plug into our equation. And temperature of 37, okay? So we'll add 273 to that. And what does that give us? 310? Is that 310? Um, all right, now, when we plug all of this in to this problem, what is that going to help us find? Well, the one thing we don't know is N, okay? So we're going to divide by R, T, divide this side by RT, and that'll cancel. 
So we can plug all these numbers in and solve and we'll have the number of moles, okay? Once we know that, and we know the, uh, the mass that was given, if we take the mass and divide by the number of moles, then we will have the grams per mole, okay? So the last step is mass divided by moles, and that will be the molar mass. And then you can just look that up. Um, actually, in this case, they don't have us. They don't have us identify what the gas is, right? No, nope, just says find the molar mass. So we're just looking for a number. Okay. So this is the step that might be a little bit like what? The rest of this is we're just following this equation to solve for n. If you get all of that, mass divided by the moles is the answer they're looking for. All right, so we kind of decoded that one for you a little bit. Um, but you still have to do the math, okay, and show all your work. If you need separate paper, it might not be a bad idea to do these on graph paper. And as uh, so you have plenty of room, you're not squeezing and scribbling and doing a bunch of things on the calculator, I would definitely write out all of these steps, okay? And that will help you when you get to your checkup.